the university's School of Art, Design and Architecture was delighted to welcome fashion icon Sandra Rhodes to speak to its students. The fashionista, who flew in from America that morning, came to the university to give a guest lecture about her lifelong love affair with textiles. In the 1970s, Sandra Rhodes was one of the new wave of British designers who put London at the forefront of the international fashion scene. Her early textile fashion designs proved too outrageous for the traditional British manufacturers, so in 1969 she established her own retail outlet in the fashionable Fulham Road in West London. Sandra went on to design for the rich and the famous and for royalty, most notably for Diana, Princess of Wales. She has had many academic and professional honours bestowed upon her and was thrilled to be in Huddersfield. She insisted on chatting to all the students about their work. For young graduates today, there are opportunities, but I think you have to work very hard. You have to learn to promote yourself. You have to learn to push yourself forward. You should still learn drawing and it's great seeing here at the college how they're doing beautiful drawings. Study, surround yourself with people that are interested in similar subjects and work out how you can keep going in the environment of today. And if you're keen enough and if you're determined enough, some way you'll find a way forward. The college here has got contacts with digital printing on carpet. I mean, I think it's just incredible that the whole thing as a student is to research what all the opportunities are and try and think how your work would fit into it and then go ahead and see if you can put your foot in the door somehow. I consider my job as a job of ducking and diving. I produce a small collection every spring and autumn or spring, summer, autumn, winter. That's two collections a year and that feeds other collections that I do. So for example, Marks and Spencers come and they look through what I've done and pick how they would go. Millets come, look through what I can offer them and I've done a range of Wellington boots and cagoules and tents. So they look at what, and I try and make sure that my website shows the things that I do. I do sets and costumes for the opera in America I hope one day I'll get an opera in England, but in the meantime, you go wherever it can get you. So the same with the students. If they find that they're going on a backpacking trip to Singapore, take your work, put your foot in and see if you can get a job there. Wherever the job comes, take it. One last thing in my life that I'd like to achieve. You like singing? The sky's the limit. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I'd... Uh, what would I like to achieve? I've managed to build the Fashion Textile Museum, right, so I've managed to do that. I love doing opera, I'd like to get offered another opera to do, and I'd like to redecorate my house. <laughs>